Now here with Arissa, my former coworker. What true. what what is the hosting transit? It's true. We had like we had the night shift at Entertainment Tonight back in the day. Hashtag only facts. Hashtag old school. That's <laughs> Uh, so tell me, what was it like? Now, you, have you sort of found your comfort zone in season two? I feel like it. I mean, probably you'd know better than me. I mean, you watch, you're a critic. It's very clear to see when you're on the outside. When you're living it, you're just trying to get by. I know for me, for a season, there was a lot of unknowns for a lot of people. So for me, it was like, I think it was a lot of mechanics to figure out a lot of, here's how you vote, here's how this game is played. You know, do your nominate. I mean, there was a lot to figure out. I think this year, I understand better how to host this show. And I think comfort level wise, I definitely feel it. Um, I also spent a year doing a radio show in Edmonton at the same time. Uh, so I think that's really helped me like just kind of chill out and, and be myself because I think that's the best part about doing the show is it allows you to do that. Everyone hosts in their own way. You know, I'm not Julie Chan. I, I caught a lot of flack at the beginning because I was not her and I will never be her. She's amazing, but I can only be me. You know, we actually disagree on Julie Chen because I think what I like about you is the conversational style, whereas I feel like Julie is very formal, you know, but first, mm -hmm. is that an active decision to sort of make yourself a host for the fan? I think so. I think so. And that's kind of how I've been as a television personality. I've worked at a lot of places, E, CBC, ET Canada. I've done lots of stuff. And I think that's one thing I bring to everything I do is that I want to have a real conversation with people. I want to I want to feel what they're feeling. I want to get emotional with people. I want to feel it. I want to cut that empathy out. And I was on reality TV. I think it's maybe different if you haven't been. And I totally get that whole, you know, ice cold distance because for journalism, that is so important. But I've been doing entertainment journalism my whole life, so I get to enjoy it as much as everyone else does. And last season, we had the big shocker with Topaz's vote. This season, I feel like people are going to say, oh, it wasn't shocking, but it was. I mean, John cutting Netta, what was a bigger shock to you? Uh, you know, John winning the final HOH, that was already a shock, okay? Coming in, I was like, wow. I was like, oh, boy, part three is going to be some trivia. Let's see. And he killed it. And then he made the biggest move of this game. And a lot of people, I think, underestimated his game. They said, oh, well, you know, Netta made all the calls. Yeah, she did. I think she did. But his choice to align with someone who was a super fan, who understood the game on so many levels, and then to let her wisdom in the game, you know, coast her to the end and then cut her, flawless. I love it. Orissa, thank you so much. Thank you so much.